Well, sorry about fifty thousand dollars in damage, guys. I guess. I don't know what got into me. Uh, the man behind the drug-fueled standoff hostage situation over at Caesars Palace earlier this week speaking out. 35-year-old Matthew Mannix held a woman hostage while taking out talking with negotiators. He was also high as a kite. Mm -hmm. He was in town fleeing the uh, a warrant that he had out for his <laughs> arrest in Colorado. Through furniture... Way to not get noticed. Yeah. <laughs> Keep a low profile. Good job. <laughs> Uh, hey, look at the bright side. You haven't been arrested by Colorado yet. Uh, he was throwing furniture out his window. He did say that he was doing it because he felt as though that the uh, decor was dated and he felt he was doing the place a favor. I mean... A little bit of a dig at Caesars, got to be I honest. I was going to say, Caesars a little old. Probably use some upgrades. Long in the tooth. It's all right. Uh, in several media outlets interviewing him yesterday, including 8 News Now. This clip from 8 News Now, probably my one of my favorite drops ever. Just the first sentence is great. Uh, here's what he has to say. I'm never doing drugs again. I'm turning my life around. I'm going to pay for all the damages. And I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry. Is he sorry? All right. Good deal. <laughs> We should you're a, free. We, you know how, like, if you're at a restaurant and you uh, can't pay the bill, you have to uh, clean the dishes. Mm -hmm. Here, I think maybe uh, make them cocktail waitress mm -hmm. there <laughs> for you go. approximately seven months. <laughs> right. Good luck. Being if held... they can put him at the pool, he'll make his money in two days. True. There, yeah, he could clean up all the stuff he threw into it. Yeah. Uh, he was held on, uh, or being held on $750,000 bond. He will be extradited to Colorado. By the way, he was staying at the Strat the day before and he got kicked out. Got kicked out of the Strat. That's, uh, that's, you know, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good. I'm very impressed. Yeah, there it is. Uh, speaking of Metro, earlier this week, Officer James Rude was in Norway for Power Week. He set the world record in the Stones of Strength competition, lifting a stone weighing 447 pounds. Good God, that is heavy. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe he can use that strength to catch some of the trash that's been breaking into homes using doggy doors and unlock doors and windows in the Mountain's Edge area. <laughs> how do you? How do I know it's the Mountain's Edge area and not the Southwest Valley like everyone else is saying? Because it happened on my street. I'll talk about it later. So Suspect bad. is tall, wearing a hoodie. <laughs> like, so hot. Like That's your first. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you see What's anybody that? wearing a hoodie, then uh, arrest them. They're doing something wrong. I know that whole thing that happened in Florida years ago. It's like, oh, he's wearing a hoodie. It's like, who cares? But like, right now, right now, it's a 90, yeah, 98 degrees overnight. Yeah. No. <laughs> you have to be mad. Yeah. Uh, he has distinctive shoes as well. So I'm sure he's going to get himself some Sauconies <laughs> and blend in. Uh, Metro suggests make sure you lock your doors and windows. And if you have one of those removable doggy doors, uh, just remove it. <laughs> Close the door. I would never. That would freak me out too much. I know a lot of people use those ones that you can put in the sliding glass door, That's right? That's one of the ones he went Whoa. in. No, that freaks me out mm. too, too much. Yeah, just, I, it's Can't trust big, anybody nowadays. Big gaping hole. Unless you uh, can like home alone that thing mm -hmm. where he goes in. In and then like flames. Get shot with yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, get shot with a BB gun right uh -huh. between the eyes. But then you have to make sure that your poodle right, doesn't, doesn't also get it. See, trigger that AI. There's something for AI. Uh, also speaking of robbers, and also speaking of Metro, um, one cop combat now in the hands of a jury. 35 year old Caleb Rogers being accused of robbing Red Rock, Aliante, and Rio. You might remember that starting like late 2021. Yeah, there was mm -hmm. a spree of ro ro robberies there. Uh, his brother, who actually helped him on the first one as a getaway driver, he flipped on him because he was granted immunity. So he's testifying against his own brother. Oh, man. That's tough. Talk about family issues. Uh, I mean, that is uh, I'm Italian. So, I, you, know, <laughs> you know, you don't That's snitch. That's bad news. <laughs> <laughs> wow. R.I.P. Caleb Rogers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Vegas Vic sign on Fremont Street Experience wasn't shining for months. We discussed why. His wife left him for Derek Stevens over at Circa. His arms stopped working. He's addicted to nicotine. He hasn't seen the sky in decades. Mm -hmm. Well, after a lot of therapy and some maintenance, the Yesco sign is once again bright. Yay. They have gotten it in compliance with the city's codes. That's great. Stories at 1027vgs.com. Love a comeback story. Mm -hmm. um, hey, uh, our valley's about to get bigger. Bureau of Land Management announced they plan to sell nearly 900 acres of land in the northwest, southwest, and one little plot near Inspirata as well. That'll happen in November. Like, if it's not built on, you're like, wow, I wonder why they haven't built on this mm -hmm. yet. Chances are it's BLM land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the feds are like, nope, that's our land. So, like, we only own, like, 10% of the state. 
Nevada is only 10% of Nevada. Crazy. <laughs> and the rest is... Nevada's home know. to me. Yeah. At 10%. <laughs> The other ninety percent is like this is not home. Get off. Um, WNBA All Star Game tomorrow, Mandalay Bay, and it's essentially a home game for the Aces. Asia Wilson, Chelsea Gray, <laughs> Jack Young, and Kelsey Plum all going to be playing. All right, let's get to the elephant in the room. Las Vegas weather coming in hot. <laughs> coming hot in you, very very hot. Now my thing that only says eighty three right now. I feel like it's way hotter than that. But Fox 5 says 82. Okay. Right. So it's going to be oh, a high of 109 today. I got 110. Oh, we're on, we're on the same. Yeah, gosh. Yeah. Excessive oh. heat warning as per usual. I think we can just take that heat warning and carry it through September at this rate. Pretty much uh, 112 Saturday, mm -hmm. 114, maybe 115 on Sunday. And remember when I said 60% of you were going to get rain on Sunday? Yeah. The rain left. Throw it's it gone. out. Yeah. Yes. See, there it is. There. Your, your first forecast. <laughs> and second. Um, oh, yeah. So that excessive heat warning is going on. There's also cooling stations that are open today throughout Clark County. They're going to remain open until next Monday because all next week, 110s. Yeah. And then yeah, Henderson, all... this is, I, I read this and I'm like, okay. Uh, I guess on Tuesday, Henderson opened their cooling stations and they're open through today. So that's going to help you on Sunday. <laughs> I guess uh, one will be open maybe tomorrow from like 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. But Sunday. Um, Sunday, one, one fourteen, one fifteen. Oh, gosh. Stop over at the 7-Eleven, buy a bag of ice and yep. put it in your in, pants. In your pants, exactly. <laughs>